So I want to talk about one of the most important ingredients to a great performance. And I'm going to tell you a story. When I was at the Screen Actors Guild Awards and Meryl Streep was there, and I had the opportunity to see her, talk to her, and connect. And I actually went up and told her how much I loved her work. And we got into a conversation. And she was up for a SAG award. And a lot of actors, when they're up for awards, are extremely nervous and not necessarily open. And there's a lot of you know, anxiety and, and energy and a lot of protection around them. But Meryl was open and um, happy. And what was fascinating about the experience was I, when I, I was in conversation with her, I felt she listened so much to me, like nobody else existed in the room but me in that moment. And what it gave me the insight is, is um, the power and the magic of how she listens. And of course, she is who she is, and her work is as good as it is. And I think in part to just that amazing skill in our business, we have these industry parties. And when I was very young and very new, I remember working rooms and meeting people and how unlistened I was and how many people were looking for the next connection or the next important person. And, um, and you sort of got used to, oh, I get it. People aren't going to be maybe sincere. But I've discovered that the people at the top, the great actors, the actors that are going to be great actors, the great directors, the great producers, the people that are doing A-list work listen and they don't treat you that way. They actually are extremely sincere and there's an incredible um, beauty in the grace they have. And that's what I want to impart to you is that how well do you listen out there in the world? How open are you to actually grant the empathy and energy of others around you because it will help you build as an actor. I think one of the most important qualities an actor has is empathy. How else can you step into other characters and reveal their pain and their joys and hopes and fears if you aren't empathetic to their story? And so it begins with just your friends. It begins with just the people in your environment. And it begins with having a moment to stop and make others just as important as you, as Meryl did with me. That moment that I had with her will stay with me for the rest of my life. And the next aspect of listening is the listening you do in your scenes and in, your, in the give and take on stage. This kind of listening is crucial in the work. How well do you listen when you're given directions? It begins with simple things, like when somebody gives you directions, even how to make a cake. How well do you do that? Do you really listen? There's so many things to think about. Breaking down a script, knowing how to find the character, breaking down a scene, knowing how to play the scene. Every scene moves the story forward so that if your character isn't a little changed at the end of a scene, doesn't go through what we call an arc, doesn't go through a change, it most likely is a one-level performance. So you're going to want to always find that you might start somewhere, but you're going to end a little bit somewhere else or a lot somewhere else crucial in scene structure. So there's a lot of things to learn, a lot of things to build on as an actor, but the most important and first step is the ability to listen.